Charlie Kirk. Is he now dressing better? What's going on here? Is he? Uh, why is he dressing uh, with, think, a, with a tie? Yeah, I think he's transitioning to adulthood. I oh think yeah. It's finally, you know, he can't do the young conservative thing anymore. So you know, you go to I don't know. Um, where does he go to shop? Macy's um, probably somewhere. Mar Brooks Brothers. I don't yeah, know where you Ralph, get a shop. Uh, I don't know where you get like a uh, um, a uh, tie like that. But uh, I will say that he did so poorly in getting the youth vote in Arizona, which was his focus. Uh huh. And Arizona turned out to be the worst showing for the Republicans in uh, amongst young people who vote. Uh, that maybe he's decided like, hmm. I got to give up the ghost. The game is up. The jig is is done. Whatever it is, and uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna start with the tie. I don't know. Maybe he had an appointment though afterwards. Maybe a job interview. It kind of looks like a Catholic prep school uniform. I was gonna too, say though, this. So. That tie is like when I had when I was getting confirmed in the faith uh, as yeah. a young Catholic. That's what I had to wear as I you know all my aunts and uncles came around and told me how proud of it. Right. You know, right. Exactly. But here is uh, Charlie Kirk uh, talking about. Uh, I, I, I guess, I, I don't know, witches? Some people are emailing us, Charlie, don't make fun of witches. They have a lot of power. That's not true. They do not have a lot of power, but they do have some, if they're really into it, I do believe there's some very dark spiritual implications and dynamics here. And look, I've encountered witches before. When I was once speaking, this is not a joke. When I was once speaking at Legacy Church in Albuquerque, New Mexico, in the land of enchantment, which is, in my opinion, the most outwardly pagan state remaining in America. A lot of great Christians, but there's a lot of weird witchcraft that happens in New Mexico. Uh, I spoke at Steve Smotherman's church, and I was talking about how I believe marriage was between one man and one woman. This was back in July of 2021. I'm not making a word of this up. Mikey could tell, attest to this. Our whole team can. And three witches came up, and they started saying stuff at me. And maybe it was a coincidence. Maybe it wasn't, but I got super sick right after that again maybe it's just a coincidence who knows maybe you think it's all a bunch of horse pucky and all that but that was uh that was pretty chilling and so uh <laughs> they, they came into the church and by the way steve smotherman great friend in albuquerque tells me they have witches that come into their church all the time and you might think it's all a bunch of nonsense and it's all just a bunch of vapor or you might think that there's actually a spiritual war playing out obviously i believe that those unclean spirits are subservient to Obviously. truth, to Christ, and to the one God. Um, he got sick after he was at a <laughs> church wow. yeah. in 2021, of all times. I mean, ask the producers. I was vomiting for... <laughs> did not want to go in there. <laughs> <laughs> you know what the witches might have also done? Yeah. Is they also might have like hurt? Uh, 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 what's her What's her face? Is uh, Carrie Lake? Carrie Lake's yeah. uh, chances in Arizona? Uh, I mean, it's uh, cast some spells across lines. the border. Will yeah, witchcraft go cross state lines? Mm. Yeah, it's hard to say. I mean, if you can delineate like which is the most witchy state, it seems to, like they would be a little bit confined some to the border. But well, probably, no, you probably some get some spillover. spillover yeah. yeah, like pot. Well, that's, it's um, the Colorado. issue in this country. We don't really have enough state sovereignty and uh, border security. So that's the problem. Why is uh, New Mexico the most pagan witchcraft state in his, it's in his opinion? Because all the vortexes. It's all the vortexes. All of because right? there's a Isn't lot there of a lot of uh, vortexes. That's uh, what I think. I think it's a lot of indigenous people. Indigenous. Uh, I mean, right. you mentioned that's Albuquerque. Yeah, yeah, like uh, yeah, it's it's because of an indigenous <laughs> people. I, I I'm pretty convinced. Um, it is interesting to just sort of watch where these guys are going. And, you know, the, the, we just had a, an interview, uh, about how American business taught us to loathe government and love the free market. And one of the mechanisms they used was the Christian religion and a bastardization of it or a reinterpretation of how it's taught in this country. Um, and so that's why you see a guy like that cling. The reason why he will, you know, proclaim that witches exist is because it is one side of a coin, which he wants to also claim exists, which is the, the, the power of, of Christ and God. And I guess truth. 
Well, um, the demonic kind of is truth a Christian principle. Well, I would not say to so. Christians, it is. But but, but the 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 refocus on like demons and kind of satanic spirits is also playing into their transphobia, which is uh, they've been essentially saying that uh, they're sick, they're mentally ill, they're uh, there's a, a dark movement trying to indoctrinate your kids into being trans or gay. That's just demon scary stuff, right? Um, and and so he's trying to play into that. That's his pivot uh, to your point, Sam. I also think like if I'm Charlie Kirk, all this stuff about like the his 20th century history and communism and fascism, like that's a lot of work. Yeah, <laughs> I don't want to be reading history and exactly. stuff. Much better to like uh, which is bad. Exactly. Yeah. I, I, non which is good. I love the idea. I would love if it was someone like Christine O'Donnell. Remember her? She's not a witch. Uh, well, she's not. She's she is not a witch. She's but, not a witch. But maybe Christine O'Donnell, uh, who is not a witch, just gave him COVID, and so now he's convinced that a witch has to spell on him.